Overwatch has recently added a brand new mode to the Summon Games lineup, Winston Volleyball, and today I'll be ranking all of the available heroes on their movement potential, both horizontal and vertical, and their ease of use. It's important to note that heroes with a high vertical mobility will be better adapted at playing much closer to the net, while those with high horizontal movement will be far better in the backline as defense. Make sure you follow me on Twitch to catch the content live, and let's start off with Farah, who is probably one of the most underrated heroes in this mode. She boasts amazing vertical movement with the ability to boost up and maintain her height thanks to her jetpack, and gets an easy 5 out of 5 for vertical movement. Playing around with the green jump pads on the offensive side will allow you to spend most of your time in the air with ease, making her very beginner friendly and earning a 4 out of 5 for ease of use. Her major downfall comes with her horizontal movement though, and only earns a 1 out of 5 here. Overall, I'd put Farah in B tier for her amazing air control. Moving on to Widowmaker, who takes a lot of skill to use correctly. Her grapple allows for insane horizontal movement in the backline, bagging her an easy 5 out of 5 there, and even a good amount of vertical movement when you grapple the walls, ceiling, or even the ball itself, earning a solid 4 out of 5 on the front line. The biggest downside to Widow is when you miss your grapple completely, or don't cancel it soon enough. It will force you into bad positions, making you lose easy points. I'd rate Widow a 2 out of 5 in ease of use, putting her safely into B tier. D.Va has possibly one of the best movement abilities in this mode, allowing for rapid and precise movement for the duration of your choice. This gives her an easy 5 out of 5 for both horizontal and vertical movement. While her movement ability itself is easy to use, the downside is it can be difficult to follow the ball's movement as you fly around, meaning you often find yourself coming in from the backline rather than playing up front. I'd give D.Va a 3 out of 5 for ease of use, and place her in A tier for her versatility. Batiste is the only hero who has a modified ability in this mode. By using the green pads up front to jump with your passive charged, you gain the ability to double jump. This can be very useful to make small corrections while in the air, but it does come at a cost. While Batiste may be able to leap up on any part of a field, you will spend most of your time keeping your double jump charged, which vastly reduces his horizontal movement speed and gives him a 1 out of 5 here. His passive jump can be very useful for making sure a ball reaches the other side at any moment, but again it comes with its limitations as you are only able to leap a set height unlike the flying heroes, so I gave him a 3 out of 5 for vertical movement. Batiste is very beginner friendly and keeps you in the action even when away from the jump pads, giving him a 4 out of 5 for ease of use and putting him in B tier. Ash's coach gun ability is a great way to extend your melee reach and is something that very few other heroes offer, making her very forgiving to play and bagging a 5 out of 5 for ease of use. Her ability can also be used for either vertical or horizontal movement, with a 2 out of 5 in both categories, but I found the additional reach to be much more useful in most situations, making her a C tier hero. Cassidy sees his role cooldown reduced in volleyball, giving you a strictly horizontal movement ability every 2 seconds. This bags him an easy 5 out of 5 for horizontal movement, but 0 out of 5 for verticality. Cassidy gets a 5 out of 5 for ease of use as you can roll in all directions and is an amazing backline defense hero, so I place Cassidy in A tier. Echo is by far one of the most difficult heroes to get the most out of. You will need to balance flight time and dashing with cooldowns and floating to stay in the best possible position above the net, giving her a 1 out of 5 for ease of use. Her amazing movement potential does get her an easy 5 out of 5 for both horizontal and vertical movement though, as it allows her to be extremely useful to the team anywhere on the pitch. Echo is easily an A tier hero. Genji's abilities get the most love in volleyball as he is able to wall climb, double jump and dash with the added bonus of the dash acting as a hit on the ball. He is easily one of the most versatile heroes and is able to combine multiple abilities together for extra movement potential and reach, giving him a 5 out of 5 for horizontal and 3 out of 5 for vertical movement. Genji is fairly easy to use, but will take some practice to make the most out of his dash, so I gave him a 4 out of 5 on ease of use. Genji is by far the best hero in this mode, and is placed alone in S tier. 
Hanzo can also wall climb, but only gets a double jump as his main ability. The double jump scores Hanzo a 3 out of 5 in horizontal movement, as it can be used in all directions, but forces a small amount of vertical movement. His double jump is very limiting vertically, and only earns a 2 out of 5 there. Overall, Hanzo is a very easy hero to use in the back line, scoring a 5 out of 5 for ease of use and ranking him in C tier. Junkrat is our first hero with a placeable ability. His concussion mines can be thrown out one at a time to assist in your movement, but unfortunately have no effect on the ball itself. I found it difficult to get precise movement with mines and often ended up pushing myself away from the ball instead of closer, so I'd give him a 2 out of 5 for ease of use. Junkrat's vertical movement can be quite powerful, especially if you combine multiple mines together, but lacks in control once airborne, so I'd give him a 2 out of 5 here. In terms of horizontal movement, I'd give Junk a 2 out of 5. You can technically move quickly, but as the mines want to send you upwards instead, it can often move you away from where the ball may be landing. As Junkrat doesn't do well in any situation, I place him in D tier. Soldier 76's sprint has the advantage of no cooldown, allowing him to run around at increased speed at any time. This makes him an ideal candidate for a defensive hero and scores him a 5 out of 5 for horizontal movement. With no other movement options though, he gets a 0 out of 5 for verticality. Soldier is incredibly easy to use and allows you to keep an eye on the ball while sprinting, giving him a 5 out of 5 for ease of use, but is placed in C tier as other heroes bring more options to the table. Winston also sees a cooldown reduction on his leap, increasing his movement potential. With the leap giving you 3 angles of attack, he scores an easy 5 out of 5 in horizontal and 3 out of 5 in vertical movement. It takes a bit of practice to get these angles right, giving him a 3 out of 5 on ease of use, but once found, he fills a very similar spot to D.Va in midfield. The speed of Winston's leap complements many other heroes' abilities, so I place him in A tier. Sombra is another very underrated hero in volleyball. She benefits from increased speed while cloaked, an element of surprise, and the possibility to teleport at any time. These abilities give Sombra an insane horizontal movement potential and easily earn a 5 out of 5 here. While her translocator can be used for vertical movement, I found it much more useful as a quick way back to an undefended location, and I'll give her a 1 out of 5 for verticality. Sombra is very easy to use as a defender, as there is little to go wrong, so I give her a 5 out of 5 for ease of use and place her in A tier. Symmetra is another hero aimed at the defensive side of things, with her teleporters allowing you to cover large distances at the push of a button. They are very slow to set up, however, and often disappear before they become useful on another volley, so they only earn a 4 out of 5 on horizontal movement. Symmetra has no vertical abilities, as you can only place the teleporters on the sand, so that's an easy 0 out of 5 there. If you are to get the most out of Symmetra, you have to be able to read the match well to give you enough time to place your teleporters. Because of this, I'd give her a 3 out of 5 for ease of use and place her in D tier. Mercy is able to fly both towards her teammates and to the ball itself, giving her multiple options for mobility, and her passive float allows her to remain airborne for extended periods of time. Mercy is a very mobile hero who easily bags a 5 out of 5 in both horizontal and vertical movement. Her main downside is in her ease of use. Flying towards the ball can often leave you heading towards the wrong direction if you don't use her super jumps correctly, and I found it difficult to balance her airtime, so she gets a 0 out of 5 here. Mercy remains a solid frontline choice, but I put her in C tier for the added difficulty. Of course, this list is just my opinion, so come on over to my Twitch channel and let me know if you'd make any changes. And I'll see you next time.